On a new show on WABC Radio in New York, they are exploring the left-right divide and major issues afflicting New York City and beyond. One of the co-hosts is former New York Congressman Anthony Weiner. He spent 18 months in confinement for sexting with a 15-year-old girl. He was released in 2019. He says he's ready to answer tough questions about his own life, the challenges facing the country. He's joining now our friend Curtis Sliwa with a new show, their co-host, The Left Versus the Right. Uh, Anthony Weiner, thank you for being with us. Curtis Sliwa, uh, always good to see you, my friend. I guess the first question that I'll have is, you pled guilty, Anthony, to sending obscene materials to a young girl, a 15-year-old girl. You went, you pled guilty, you served jail time. Have you changed? Are you a different person? Well, um, I think so. I don't think anyone can go through that kind of experience, and I think this is probably true of people who have been through other types of adversity. I don't think you go through that type of experience and don't emerge changed. Well, wait, that's wait, um, but Anthony, wait a minute. So that's I think it's fairly Anthony, obvious. That's an obscure answer. I think so. Either you know in your heart if you changed, or you know in your heart if you didn't change. Or do you? Can you assure people? Because you're going to now try and draw in an audience. And they're going to want to know if you've changed or not. Have you changed? They, 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 they can judge for themselves. I'm sorry? I said they can judge for themselves. I'm not out to persuade you or anyone else that I've changed. I mean, I, I'm doing a radio show, and people can call in and ask me questions. We did one this past Saturday where people had an opportunity to call in, and where Curtis asked me a bunch of questions, and I asked and answered the best I can. But in terms of, like, I'm trying to draw someone in, no, I'm not trying to make someone like me or someone be persuaded of any particular outlook on me. We're going to have some conversations about things going on in New York City and other places, and hopefully people will tune into the show. But I'm not terribly interested in trying to make them feel any differently about me. Curtis, I would say between the two of us, we have anywhere between 60 and 70 years of, of talk radio experience under our belt, and we've been friends for a long time. Um, one of the things about talk radio is it's a heart medium. In other words, you, you have to connect with, with somebody on a, on a visceral level because they can't see you. And I, I'm listening to Anthony's answer. It doesn't sound that convincing to me. I would think that if it was me, I would want to convince people that I am a different person, that I changed, that I learned my lesson, that I'm, I'm moving forward in a different direction in my life. How did you feel about the answers you got? Well, uh, I actually did two weeks of programming uh, with Anthony before his life just uh, imploded. He's a good talk show host. He reveals much of his feelings. I feel he's on solid ground. Our owner-operator, John Katsimatidis, who, as you know, saved WABC from the scrap heap. There would never have, again have been WABC if he hadn't rescued it. Believes in giving people a second chance. Bill O'Reilly. I can run through a whole list of people who are my colleagues at WABC who he's given a second chance. He believes in that. And let's face it, we need to give people a second chance. We saw that in the Trump administration when he cut the jail time of so many people that we didn't realize were being incarcerated 20, 30, 40 years. So I think all of us, Democrats and Republicans, we have come to a conclusion that if you've done your time, if you paid the price for what you did, it's time to come back into the fold. And I must tell you, if Anthony Weiner had not had his personal problems, we wouldn't have had Bill de Blasio for eight years who single-handedly destroyed our city. He Anthony did would have been this. the mayor. And I'm telling but, but, you, Sean, Curtis, you know me, you would have done a much better job. And we've been friends for a long time. I, I, I would just recommend, in the sense that if it was something this serious, that there's got to be a let me fall on the sword admit and tell people what's different about me at this point. You know, I would think going to jail is different. And um, this is what I learned. This is the help that I got. This is how I'm, well, um, Sean, you I'm can, staying Sean, on the if street you want, now. If you, if you want, you can tune into the show, and you can hear if that <laughs> so is the way. You're but on if you my say, show now. You say Anthony, to someone, I'm giving you the chance now to do it. I know, but it. you invite it. You invite it. I know you invited me to come on, and then you say, did you change? Yes. And I answer the question. I said, I, I believe that I did. I believe this kind of experience would change any person. And now All you're right. having a conversation with Curtis, with me sitting here about my answer. All I can do is give you the answer, brother.
Well, that's your answer. I would have expected a little bit more sincerity, a little more heartfelt, a little more um, repentant. I don't the know word what to from tell the. You. The word from Latin means to change one's heart, um, and I agree with Curtis. I believe in. Uh, I'm not the guy that calls for canceling. But it's not something. Well, what? I know, but I and I, I appreciate. I appreciate having me on the show. I mean, it, it's fine, and I'm and I'm glad to be here, and I'm and I'm grateful to to Curtis. He and I have a good show. You know, I've always in the, in my political life been more concerned about things on Brighton Beach Avenue than Brighton, England. This the, the, we're going to talk about New York City issues. But, you know, I'm of the belief that the way you demonstrate that you've changed is for other people to perceive it, is for other people to see that you that you're dealing in, with things. Well, the in a last words way. would be I don't believe after that you, you shout that from story. the mountain. Here, let me just. The last words right, would but be. Let me, let me just finish my time. Talk. Time I, will prove me right or wrong if I'm being heartfelt with you. Well, you know, I perhaps should perhaps you you should help do the prep for the Hannity show for your guests. I'm just giving you the answer as best I can, buddy. Okay, and uh, Curtis, you, you, you're working a lot. Of, Curtis never stops working. If he's not on the air, he's in the subways. He just never stops. Uh, Curtis, you're happy with how's the audience responding? I have ten seconds, literally. Oh, great! And uh, listen in, Sean. You listen to talk radio, and then you give me your opinion because we have two full hours, and I'll get deep into the mindset of Anthony Weiner as he is All now. Right. I promise you that, Sean. I'll listen. Uh, Curtis, we've been friends a long time. Anthony, I hope you changed, and Godspeed. We'll continue. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.